So Apple has just discontinued HomePod, its flagship smart speaker. Let's talk about that. Hi there, I'm Blanche. I am a DJ and founder of local DJ Collected Soul Dust Productions. I'm also an expiring music producer and all around creative. If you like to be able to find out more about music tech uh, and DJing and music production, um, hit the button below. So a couple of announcements before I get into it. I have done a radio show and a podcast uh, for a 17-year period called Urban Landscapes. I call the show Jazzy Soulful Club Culture from around the world. And it is a very international type show where the root is soul and jazz and funk uh, from here in America. But... Loads of influences from around the world have been created and continue to be created. I first launched the show on KCPR, the university radio station of Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, uh, back in uh, 1998. And it have lasted uh, on and off until about 2015. Then I decided to take a break and uh, do other things. And now the time has come to be able to bring the show back. People have been asking for it for a long time, so I'm doing it. So, in fact, I have put on a brand new show that's now online. And the plan is to be able to make it online. It is a podcast, and it will be every other Thursday. It's called Blanche Presents Urban Landscapes, and you can be able to find that online where you get your podcasts uh you can go to apple podcasts and search for it or search anywhere blanche presents over landscapes that's the name of the show you can go ahead and subscribe and um yeah let me know what you think as you get a chance to listen to it a few months ago i have done a video about my studio desk the new studio desk that was built for me uh back in winter Made a video about it, told you how much I love it. Um, if you haven't seen the video, you can look above or uh, look in the description uh, to be able to click on the link to that video. But the desk has kind of uh, matured a bit because I have added a bunch of things that actually I've, I've just uh, recollected uh, from a friend who had them for a while and um, now they're on the desk. When I originally got the keyboard tray, the clearance was such that the keyboard wouldn't have been able to fit. So that's why it was uh, above here and now it's uh, in it. And um, I have uh, on the left, the machine jam uh, propped up and on the uh, right, that's uh, your left, <laughs> the Launchpad Pro. Uh, also popped up. I'm really happy that I got that uh, sorted out and yeah, I will uh, Make a new video about the studio desk and the gear that I have on it uh, In about a few months time. So during Apple's worldwide developer conference back in June of 2017 that would make it three years ago Apple announced the HomePod its entry into the smart speaker market. It was a unique kind of speaker and part of the uniqueness was the tech that went in it. Apple apparently put a lot of R&D into making this speaker. I'm really impressed with the tech they put in it. Uh, you get this uh, cylinder type speaker, uh, either black or white, and within the speaker you have seven tweeters that surround the inside toward the bottom and also a four inch subwoofer that's up at the top. You also have microphones in the same area, seven microphones uh, around those uh, seven tweeters and an additional microphone 
at it as well. In addition to listening to uh, you giving Siri commands on it, when you plug the device in, one of the first things it does is that it scans your room. So you plug it in and it uses the microphone to be able to bounce the signal everywhere in the room to be able to try and calibrate itself uh, for that environment. So once you plug it in, it takes 10 seconds to do that. Anytime you move the speaker, if it's still plugged in, uh, it has an accelerometer, so it'll be able to do uh, to adjust accordingly. So all that is pretty uh, fascinating because then you can be able to have it so that it, as I said, tailors the sound to your listening environment, which makes it even cooler when you pair them up and have a stereo pair, uh, which is what I have. I have a HomePod on either side of me. I have one on each record shelf in the home studio. Apple did have high expectations for the speaker. It tries not to go into a market until it's ready. And usually the product that they have isn't something that's brand new per se, but the hope is, is that the technology is better in comparison with the competition that is going to go ahead and try and compete. And I'm not gonna go that far to say it's audio file quality, but I don't think it's really made for audio files. Uh, even at the $350 price point, I think it's made uh, for mass consumption. So that was th what they were aiming for. They were aiming for uh, the smart speaker market. The emphasis that Apple was trying to put on was the tech, uh, the sound quality of the speakers as opposed to the smarts in it. Thing is, is that you, if you're going to call something a smart speaker, then obviously customer expectations are going to be very high because by the time the HomePod came out, there was already speakers from uh, Amazon with the Echo and also Google and their uh, Nest speakers, among others. And these speakers already had their separate ecosystem so that people can be able to have verbal commands to do whatever it is that, this, uh, that they want to be able to do via those speakers. But yeah, for me personally, uh, I bought these speakers back in January of 2019. And I've had them in the home studio uh, since, and it's just been uh, phenomenal. I love the sound of them. Uh, the sound quality was really great. They ended up putting in uh, st stereo pairing by the time I got them, and also the ability uh, to be able to make calls to it if you have Wi-Fi calling available. That's not something I use. I, I try that twice. It's okay but it's not for me but uh it is there it blends well into the apple ecosystem uh it uses apple music by default another feature that i use sometimes that i haven't uh, used all that often but sometimes i do is that if i'm playing something on my iphone and if i want to be able to have it transferred from my iphone to the HomePod, I can just take my phone, get it near the, the, one of the HomePod speakers. It's able to uh, transfer audio and then the audio will play on the HomePod. So that's also a really cool feature. Another nice feature that I like, if I have my friends uh, come over, uh, like happened recently when we were making music and we were sharing music and they wanted to be able to share the music from their iPhone to my speakers. And you can be able to do that. You can allow them to do that. Um, they go into the phone, they select my Wi-Fi network, I pull out my phone, I give them permission to share with the Wi-Fi network. So that means they don't see the password for the Wi-Fi network, but they have access to it. Once they have access to it, then they can be able to go into AirPlay, choose the speaker and boom, uh, it works. Now, like I said, I have no regrets about getting the HomePod myself, but there have been grumblings uh, from folks about it. 
And it does have some shortcomings uh, that I think might have contributed to the discontinuation of the HomePod when Apple announced that it was no longer making the original HomePod back in March. So what's the deal? Why did Apple stop making uh, the original HomePod? Apple hasn't really jumped out and said why it is that they stopped. One then could be the low sales relative to their competitors. The HomePod has always gotten within the two to three percent range of the market in terms of sales, uh, but their cheaper competitors from Amazon and Google and also third party ones such as Sonus uh, have better sales. Uh, for cheaper speakers, especially as you get like a cheaper pair. And also uh, some of them uh, sort of match the sound quality uh, of the HomePod uh, for cheaper as well. And the other thing to get out of the way, HomePod does not use Bluetooth. It is not a Bluetooth speaker. It uses AirPlay. And what's the significance of that? The significance of that is that Bluetooth is a technology that cannot handle uh, lossless audio streams. Whereas the HomePod not only has AAC, uh, which is its own lossy uh, audio format, but also can handle uh, FLAC, which is an open source uh, hot lossless audio format and also ALAC, which is Apple's version of the lossless format. And the significance of that uh, becomes apparent with the release of Apple Music and its lossless music library that just got turned on this month. So you can be able to use right now your iPhone if you have iOS 14.6 to be able to stream lossless audio to the HomePod and you can also uh, use the same thing on your on your iPad too and then coming up in Mac OS 12 uh, aka Monterey that will be out in the fall uh, you'll be able to do the same thing from your Mac most of the other speakers out there support Bluetooth and Apple does it. Now, that doesn't make it a bad speaker and that shouldn't be a reason to negate buying one, but it has in the beginning have limits because it is part of the Apple ecosystem because you have to use Apple Music for it. Now you can use other services like Spotify uh, with the HomePod, but the experience is going to be a little bit different uh, in that way. So it may be advantageous, it may be not. Another problem is that the features that are part of HomePod have been slow in coming out ever since the rollout of the HomePod. The features have been kind of really creaking out the door, whereas most of the other speakers that use Google or Amazon have had a lot of these features. The, the, you know, stuff like the timer. And yes, there's a timer on the HomePod 2, but it doesn't have multiple ones until just very recently with this uh, update that just came out. You can be able to have multiple timers on the HomePod now. But that came out like a few years too late. And there were other features that came out late. The stereo pairing uh, came out late. The ability to have separate voices being detected to be able to use a HomePod. Uh, that's another feature that came out late. The one uh, big thing that I think is the Achilles heel for the HomePod is the lack of smarts. Now, it is a smart speaker and Apple had gone out of the way to be able to, to tell people uh, more about the speaker portion of it, how good it sounds, as opposed to 
Siri and the smarts because they know uh, that Siri to this day is pretty underwhelming and it still is. Siri's good, Siri's getting improved, but Siri's not quite there yet. And I think the, one of the perceptions that a lot of people are saying is, well, this is supposed to be a smart speaker and it's not doing uh, most of the voice commands that these other speakers can do. Oh, and it's $350 too. Uh, it's just not worth it to me. And I, uh, oh, oh, by the way, it's got to be in the ecosystem, the Apple ecosystem. I, I'm just not going to go for it. And I think that all these factors together um, have helped pretty much kill the, uh, the original HomePod. Now, fortunately, Apple has sort of rectified that by releasing the HomePod Mini last year. And that came out just in time for the holidays. Price at $99. It's not as powerful as the original HomePod, but it still has really good sound for the price and it's much smaller. The Mini has became a success for Apple. And I even uh, bought a pair. I have one for my bedroom, then I have one for the kitchen, and the sound is fine. And one thing that I really like is if I'm in the living room and I have my home pods uh, going, I can be able to tell Siri to be able to send that same audio everywhere. So if I'm watching from the living room through the bedroom onto the kitchen and then uh, going in the reverse, uh, the sound stays locked. Uh, there's no drifting at all. Um, it's all in sync and uh, that's pretty remarkable in of itself. Uh, Apple also says that it's going to continue uh, in addition to having uh, software updates for the Mini, it's also going to continue uh, software updates for the HomePod. The HomePod is just three and a half years old at this point, so you should expect at least a couple more years of direct support. And there isn't any word right now on when Apple's going to discontinue support, but you can, like I said, expect that for at least another couple of years. She get the HomePod. Well, like I said, it's going to be hard to find right now because um, Apple is discontinuing it, and therefore um, it's not going to be found in stores. You'll probably have to find them online. The best way to be able to get one of those is new only because Apple Care can be used with that. So if anything goes wrong with the product, Apple will be able to cover it. Like I said, I love my HomePods. I think it works great in the ecosystem and I'm sure it's gonna get support for a while to come, but I'm hesitant to being able to recommend uh, that you get the original HomePod now that is being discontinued. It's like I mentioned in my previous video on Apple Lossless that if you are uh, making music, then these are great for being able to use as reference speakers and you'll be able to listen to the same thing that other people who have uh, Apple Lossless music uh, uh, will be able to listen to. Like I said, AirPlay, your uh, finished track. And I, when I say finish, I don't mean finish, finish. I mean uh, like a, uh, the rough draft of your finished track. You can be able to uh, either airplay it to your phone or when uh, Mac OS Monterey gets installed on your computer, you can be able to stream from there. So I wouldn't negate the usefulness of it but I'm gonna leave that up to you. You could end up getting a HomePod Mini if you want and you know be able to have the same rationale that if it sounds good over the Minis, then uh, should be able to be sounding good elsewhere. Uh, but I'll leave that up to you. So those are my thoughts on the HomePod. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoy this video, uh, please give a like below. And if you also want to know more about the DJing and music production and music tech uh, and those kind of things, 
and also keep up with my creative journey uh, you can subscribe to the channel and uh, more content will be coming soon all right everyone thanks for watching and i hope to catch you uh again very soon all right peace And also, got a bona fide keyboard tray. I had it already, but the thing is, is that I wasn't able